Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are having a great weekend so far and that you all had a spooky Halloween. Um, we had a really good time, went to our parents and we did like a little Halloween scavenger hunt with the kids and the weather was perfect. I don't know if you guys can hear today in the background, um, but it's howling here. November came in like roared in like a lion <laughs> and it's windy, it's like pouring rain and it's just a really cold day. So I've actually got my <laughs> hot cup of tea here. I have my warm cinnamon spice, which is one of my favorite flavors. I've got my candle going, vanilla chai, one of my favorite scents. And um, I've also got <laughs> a couple of the kids like little <laughs> Halloween candies that I've just been munching on. So it's a good time. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I set up my monthly dashboard pages, which are the two pages right after the month at a glance. Um, the page just before there I will show in a different video. And this page is what I usually will do um, either my, actually I'll show you my fall bucket lists or like winter bucket lists, or I also use it for my currently pages as well. So that is the one right before the month at a glance. But today I'm going to be showing you how I set this one up. Um, as you can see, I've, I've already got some really like, don't judge me by my writing. <laughs> I hate my writing, but I just got some scrap notes here that I just like threw in with sticky notes. Just have a couple important things that I wanted to make sure not to forget when I got to this page. And then with this page here, I'm actually going to be using like a preset sticker kit. And this is going to be the one from a Sticker Mama Co. And she's got some really beautiful stickers. Um, you can kind of customize these as well. So like, for example, I think even this one was like for a different month originally, but I wanted to use it for November. Um, just because I thought like the blue and red were kind of nice transitional colors from fall. Um, we do have our Remembrance Day in the middle of November and it's going to be coming up to Christmas. So that's why I wanted to have some of the red. Um, I love florals all year round. You guys probably know that by now. So I did love the blue and red florals and then obviously the blue just to tie in um, the fact that winter is starting. And we already had our first snowfall of the season before even November hit. We had it on Friday, which was um, the 30th of October. And um, so winter is on its way, guys. And I don't know about you, but I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm ready for Christmas and like the holidays and stuff, but not a big fan of the snow. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start by just taking these off and just throwing them to the side here. Um, because this page I'm actually going to decorate myself. And I'm going to do like my little washi banner and show you guys kind of how I set up this page here. Um, first, I'm just going to get this page kind of, I'm going to say out of the way, but it is kind of the easier page of the two. And um, so with this one, it's, it's pretty easy to do. Um, these all kind of fit in these sections. You just pretty much have to line them up, which is pretty easy. So... This one, I'm just going to line up, and these little dots here, if you guys can see, for those of you who have that, you probably know um, kind of where to line everything up, but for those of you who are new, there are some like little dots here at the very bottom to guide you, which I need. I'm not that good at doing it myself. So these are really, really, really beautiful. They're good quality. They're easy to lay down. And then the goals I like to do on the top. And then the notes is going to go right underneath that. Again, just using the lines here. And then with the habit tracker, it's a little bit different, the one at the bottom. So, just don't let that do in my excitement. So with the bottom one, you're not, so I don't know if you guys noticed, with these ones I kind of went to the bottom of the sticker and then laid them up. But with this one, if you lay it down here and go up, you'll see it's not going to work. 
So with this one, this is the only one where I actually have to line it up with the top. So this one goes with the top line here. And there we go. And then it will fit perfectly and you still have like a little bit of that spacing, which I like, which um, kind of keeps all of your sections separate. So this is the first part, which is pretty easy. And this is where I put like my goals for the month, any notes that I have, um, habits that I'm keeping track of. Right now I'm doing like water, um, still on track to lose a little bit more weight before the end of the year. And then anything else here that quotes sometimes or things that I like, I'll put here. And kind of keep this one open, um, which is nice because she also left it open as well. So you can kind of use it for whatever you'd like, which I enjoy. And then for this page, um, I do usually four sections. I do usually to go, um, to do, remember, and to buy. And I always start usually by doing like a little washi border. I'm going to show you guys like my one for October. Yeah. So this is what my October one um, looked like. As you can see, I had set up the sticker kit from Sticker Mama Co. And then like tried to kind of bring these colors in here. So you can see I have like some oranges and some blue, which I also had here. And then these are some of my sections. And then I wrote the month down here with like a little bit of deco. So this is kind of what I'm going to create here for you guys today. You can kind of see how I do it. Okay, so I've just zoomed in uh, a little bit. The first thing that I'm going to do, as I said, was the washi border. So I'm just trying to decide. I just pull in a couple different ones. Okay, I'm going to go with these two. And I'm going to do the, I usually do the smaller strip on the side and the bigger one on top. Uh, two reasons. I just like the way the, the bigger one looks like up here. And also, as you can see there, there are some of that, that dotted line um, at the top. So rather than use a bunch of white out, I'll just cover it with the longer washi tape. And so I'm going to start on the this line here, the side line, um, because I like this one to go on top, if that makes sense. Like I'm kind of making like a little T. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to get started here, and yeah, so yeah, it is crazy how different um, the weather is from yesterday to today. Like yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. Um, we did our scavenger hunt at my parents, and it was a gorgeous day. It was probably like the nicest Halloween we've had in like years. But then today, like it was sunny, it was cold, it was cold, like you can definitely tell that winter's coming. But then today, like we woke up and it was like a completely different, like it was obvious that like November was here. It was freezing cold, the wind was howling, the windows have been rattling, um, the dog and the kids have been a little spooked. <laughs> um, and let's just see here. I might actually still decide to white out these lines they are going to bug me. So this is actually pretty sheer. Um, if it was thicker, I wouldn't bother, but that's going to bug me. This one doesn't bug me too much because it's just like a little bit of the lines behind, which is fine. But I am going to do this one. So yeah, that's why I was really feeling like just being cozy today and I wanted my tea and got a candle and I've got my like cozy sweater on and a blanket. <laughs> I'm just in a cozy mood today. It's Sunday, just kind of, it was a really busy day yesterday and a really busy week too. I worked a lot and I was exhausted already <laughs> just getting to the weekend. And then yesterday was so busy, like in a good way, but you know, you're still tired, right? After, um, and I always feel like, I feel like you guys feel the same way, but I always feel like we need like a third day in the weekend, like one day to catch up on all of our chores, you know, do all of our work, cooking, groceries, that sort of thing. Um, and then like another day to like have fun and then another day to just literally sleep and recover. All right. So that is that. I lay down pretty quick. 
Um, and then when I'm choosing these also, I'm also keeping in mind the color scheme on this side uh, so that I can kind of just, I'm not looking to like match it exactly, but like, you know, it's got some blues and some pink and this one has a little bit of that as well. So I do like to kind of match a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to do my headers here. And how I do those is, I already pre kind of picked these. Um, <laughs> but I have, so I'm using, first of all, the Happy Planner Seasonal Sticker Book. And so I've got my two stickers that I want to use on the bottom, which I actually might do next. Yeah, let's, I'm going to do that next, actually. So let's do the bottom, and then I'll show you guys how to do the other side. So for those ones, I'm going to grab the mittens right here, which are really cute. And then I'm also going to grab the, this cute little girl with the little deer, um, because winter weather is kind of starting so this will kind of represent that in my planner so I'm going to do which way is she standing I'm going to do the girl over here and the mittens over on here but normally I also have the month um, down here. So let me just see what I did for last time. And where's my October one? Okay, so this one I put on the bottom and I had room for the deco. Why am I feeling like for some reason I'm not gonna, okay, let me put, I'm gonna just put these guys off to the side for a second. Sorry guys, this like plan with me is literally like all over the place. But, um, that's why I like sometimes I do the voiceovers because I just get so like nervous <laughs> when I'm doing these ones and then I end up like having no idea what the heck I'm doing <laughs> um, in the middle of filming with you guys. So it's kind of like you get to see me ah, doing this live and I just got my deer stuck on here. All right, that's okay. We're getting through it. Can't take yourself too seriously, right? Okay, so I'm just trying to see here because I want to write November at the bottom. And I feel like if I do the M, it's kind of in the middle. Um, and then B, E, R. Oh, sorry. These guys I got from the dollar store. They came in a pack of two. And I have them in um, silver and gold. Unfortunately, they don't have rose gold. Otherwise, you know, I would be all over that. Rose gold is my absolute favorite of the metallics. But I do like silver and gold as well, depending on um, the month and the theme and all that jazz. So I'm just going to lay these down here. I just, I love, like shiny things and glittery things so much and I just feel like it just adds a little bit of extra um just really like makes your spread like a little bit more fun you know fun to look at makes me smile and that's always a good thing so <clears throat> now I just realized I don't actually have a capital R but I'm going to make one because I've already started and I'm committed to the larger letters. So I'm going to use the P and then I am never like, I don't think I'm ever going to use the letter Q. So I'm going to actually use the little tail here and I'm just going to cut this little, like this little thing off the Q. I don't know what this is called, but you guys know what I mean. And I'm going to see if that fits there. It's a little bit too long, but I can trim it down to size. Okay, let's see how that goes there. There we go. Perfect. So I've got my little 
last part of the month. I'm actually going to put this part back because I could always use this as like, you know, if I'm in a pinch. Um, so I started with the end. So November 1st. I'm going to go backwards now because I just wanted to make sure that like that part ended up okay. And then now I know I just going to go backwards and it should be okay. How I know to like space them out is I just kind of like count the letters and then go kind of in the middle. I don't know if you guys do that too. That's kind of like my little my little cheat way of kind of figuring out where the letters are going to fit before I even lay them down. That way I don't have to like end up halfway through the page and realize that I have to lift them all up again. Um, because these ones do not lift up as easy as like the sticker kits. Um, so once these go down, like they're pretty much down, <laughs> which is good, except if you make a mistake, <laughs> there is something for that. I forget what it's called. I think it's like, oh, I don't remember. It's like for mistakes, but you can actually like pour it on or something and then it will like lift it. But I've always been really afraid to use that. I don't know if you guys know what that's called or if any of you have used it. If you have, please let me know on the bottom below if it's not quite as scary as I think it is. It's like... I don't remember what it's called, but for those of you who have used it, you you know what I mean. So there we go. So just add a little bit of sparkle to the bottom there. Um, so I don't know where I'm going to be able to fit. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this little girl there, but I can always put her right on top. Nothing if flexible because my lists don't usually come down quite as far. So I'm going to just center her right there. And she's looking super cute. And I'm still going to use the gloves over here. Because it's definitely going to be glove weather. And then I can see if I can find something really small for here. Because I just I don't want to have that side like with nothing. So maybe I can do like... A little mistletoe or oh or I can do like a little snowflake yeah let's do that I'll save the mistletoe for Christmas I'm gonna do some snowflakes which kind of matches up with the um, little winter theme that I have here of like the little girl with bundled up with winter stuff and the gloves and so I'm gonna put some snowflakes right there and voila. So let's look how pretty. So that's going to be the bottom. So it's coming, it's slowly coming together. Okay. So now that the all the like decorative stuff is done, I'm going to move to the inside to the meat and potatoes, which is where all the important information is going to be. And I've also gone ahead and selected these already. So I just have like them paper clipped here just to see where they are. So the first two that I'm going to be using are these. And I'm going to be using a to buy sticker and a to go sticker. And then I'm also going to be using a to do. And last but not least, I remember sticker because these are the fours that the four that I use. Sometimes I'll also use um, to do as well, um, but these are the ones that I'm going to use for this particular one. So that is that, and then also what I do is I can just go back to my previous page here. Okay, so I, in addition to using the little labels, I also grab these things from my uh, Glam Planner sticker pack that I got earlier in the summer. And so it was just like, um, I think it was like a glitch uh, kit. It was like her, her binder, her binder kit. I don't know if she still has them, but I just have them linked together here with some little, um, rings that I got. You can get these even at the dollar store. You can get them anywhere really. And so I just kind of have like my own little book here. So I'm just looking. I need two things from here. 
I need, where are they? Of course they're going to be right at the end. <laughs> I need these guys. And I also need the heart checklists, which are here. So I'm just going to paper clip these guys so they stay together. And I don't have to keep flipping this book around a million times. Okay, these paper clips for like everything. I don't know if you guys use them for as much as I do, but uh, they're very versatile and I, I just, they're really easy to use and they're not wasteful. Um, you could use stickies as well, but then I just find that they get thrown out and I'm really big on saving the environment. Uh, so every little bit helps. And uh, that's just one of the ways that I like to uh, contribute. So I'm just trying to see here what I'm going to do in terms of like colors. So first off, I guess I'm going to lay this down probably around here. That should be kind of good. There we go. So that's going to be to go. And then I'll bring you guys in a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. And then this one I'm going to put somewhere over here. So to go, um, to do, and then depending on how far these go, I will do the next two lists as well. I don't like to lay these down too soon because then if the, these lists get like out of control, then I have to move everything down and sometimes it's not as easy to do that. Um, so I'm going to take a look and see what colors I'm going to use. I know I'm definitely going to be using some blue. What shade of blue do I want to use? Let me just see what else is in. Um, I can use this one too. So this one I'm just kind of like making my own little banner, I guess. So that's that one. Um, and then what else are we going to pull in? Maybe a pink one to go over here. Those are not even straight. Hold on. <laughs> Try to put this down a little nicer here. Okay. Nope. Okay. That's a little better. This one is still a little bit, but it's okay. I feel like if I start messing with it, I'm going to make it a lot worse. So from there, I'm going to get my washi, um, heart checklist, sorry. And I'm going to do blue. And I'm going to put it... Down here. Here we go. And with this one, I'm going to do a pink one. Uh, spray pink because that's super fun. Okay. So now that I have the first part of my list done. I'm actually going to write in a couple of things that I need to do. Um, with this, I'm just using my Villa Beautiful Pen. I love these. I know I use them in every spread, but they're just gorgeous. They sparkle. They're beautiful. They're right smooth. Like even just the weight in my hand, like they just, they just fit perfectly. Um, and I absolutely love them. So I'm just trying to think of some of the things that I have going on this month, I know I have this week, I'm going to, to go to the clinic. Um, for flu shots. Um, we are going to the 
pumpkin after dark you got tickets to that it's uh i don't know if you guys i've we've never been we've been trying to get tickets for years and it's, it used to be like something that you walk through and basically it's like a bunch of people like professionally carve pumpkins and it's like a competition and you go I guess after dark as the name suggests and you kind of get to see all of them lit up at nighttime. Um, we were not able to get in before Halloween. They sold out so quickly but thankfully they did release a second round so we are going to be going this Friday and I'm so excited. So are the kids. Uh, they've changed it, changed it to like a drive through attraction now so you stay in your car and you can still enjoy um, the pumpkins and so really excited to go and see that. We've been trying to get tickets for that for probably over two years now. Next week, I have to go to the vet with Harley. And that is for her one year checkup and shots, which I barely fit in there, but it works. Um, and then I'm also going to try to go to do some Christmas shopping. I know it sounds early, but these two months go by so quickly. Um, plus, I don't know how much longer a lot of the stores are going to be open, just with like potential another lockdown looming. So I would like to get ahead of it this year, especially just to make sure that we have everything that we want and we're not stressed um, and like pinched for time the closer that we get to the date. Normally here, I would also be putting like going to visit Santa at the mall um and like going we do like a like a sleigh ride type thing at like christmas village every year but unfortunately those two things are cancelled so i'll just leave those two for now and then just see if i have anything else to add uh this week that i haven't remembered here to do um i'm going to be uh first of all putting away put away all deco um, and then I guess in that note, I'm going to bring up the Christmas decorations. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to um, bring out the bring out our winter clothes now that it started snowing. So bring out winter clothes. So I'm going to go through, make sure we have like everything we need winter uh, boots, hats, scarves, all that stuff, snow pants, make sure everything fits everybody. And we are going to do our like fall slash like winter cleaning in the house. It's kind of just like a bigger cleaning that we do once a month. Um, and then any like smaller clothes that they have from the fall that don't fit them and summer we're going to uh, get that prepared and send that off to donations as well. Um, so actually I'll just put that on here as well. So donate um, old clothes. And probably going to try to put up the outdoor lights before it, the first um, freeze because after that it's actually a lot harder. And with the weather going up and down right now, that's likely going to be sooner rather than later. I'm hoping we can get it up before next week because with the freezing rain, it's really hard uh, and very dangerous to do that as well. So, okay, so these are the top two sections that I have. This is what they look like so far. And now I can go ahead and add the bottom. So I'm just going to add maybe like one line in between. Um, and then I'm just going to try to line it up to what I did up on top the best I can. I'm not super, super picky with, with this page, so it's not like 100% lined up. I'm kind of okay with it, but I do try best as I can just to kind of just roughly line it up. They're all different size words too, so I mean, but I think the squares are all the same uh, size. Okay, so down here I have remember and to buy, and I just need to pick some of the flags. So what do I have already? So I already have blue and that one. I want to add some red down here with this blue. So I'm going to grab a red flag and put that one about there. And then I'm 
also going to get a matching red flag to put under that. And that one's going to go right here. I'm not sure how this one ended up so close, but that's okay. Just a little, little dot there. Okay, and then this one's going to be around here. And that is not the straightest, but there we go. So that is that. And then for the last color over here, I'm going to do, what are we going to do for the last color here? I'm going to do I feel like I want to do like an aqua color, like maybe like this guy, but I don't know if I have a matching, oops, I could do this one and this one maybe, let's see, I'm going to try an aqua one, and I'll put that over a little bit more over here, there we go. And for that one, I'm going to do this guy here. And is that just going to go over her hat? Yes, of course. Okay. But that's okay. Honestly, I, uh, should I move her a little bit? No, I'm going to move my list in a little bit. I'm just going to move it in just a smidge over here because I really like where she is and I don't if I start moving over here oh help if you could see what I'm doing you guys are like what are you talking about um if I move her like anywhere else really she's still going to be in the way so I just kind of like I'm going to just accept that <laughs> um because I really like this picture and I, I like the way this is set up already so just moved it over a little bit and then I'm just going to add my list off to the side and then so for this month to remember oh i work the first saturday so i don't usually work saturdays but i always always work the first saturday of a new month and i don't want to forget to show up for that <laughs> so i will write that down so work first saturday which is i believe it's the seventh because our thing is the on the friday is the sixth so November 7th, and I'll just write that, work for Saturday, um, also it's going to be um, daylight saving time, which was today, which I don't know, it doesn't really bug us too much, it's just kind of annoying more than anything, I don't really know if it works, I don't really know why we still do it, um, daylight savings, but it is what it is, so we just got to follow it. We can't be on our own time. <laughs> and everyone's like, my daughter, she's on her own time. We call it Olivia time. <laughs> uh, ever since, even when I was pregnant with her, like 30 plus hours of labor, after two hours of pushing, and then even now, like, we'll all be ready to go out. And then we're like, come on, Olivia. She's like, yeah, I'm coming. I'm just going to do this first. And we're like, okay. <laughs> uh, what else do we have going on this month? Oh, Harley's monthly meds. Like her tea, or uh, tea, <laughs> flea and tick, Harley's monthly meds. So I don't want to forget to give her those. Um, we change the furnace filter, which is so important, especially with Harley. I don't know if you guys can see so many times, even when I'm like doing my spread, even though she's not in the room and obviously she's not climbing on my desk, there's like fur everywhere. Her hair is just insane how much she has so we do change the furnace filter a little more often with her just to kind of keep everything clean and flowing um and then also i have my son's birthday at the end of november he's turning seven i'm so excited i can't believe he's gonna be oh he's seven already like he's gonna be double digits in three years i'm just i'm not ready <laughs> I am not ready. I'm so proud of him, but part of me kind of wishes it would go just a little bit slower. 
and then it's my father-in-law's birthday on the 26th. And then we also have Remembrance Day, which is um, November 11th. Um, I wonder if I have like a poppy. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if they, oops, they have it. It's not really a seasonal. It's more like it's a Canadian thing. So I don't know if they're going to have like a poppy here. But this kind of actually looks like a poppy. Hold on this be kind of a poppy yeah <gasps> okay so I'm actually gonna use this <laughs> oh. and I'm going to put this guy down here I'm kind of poppy ish I'm gonna put um, remembrance day And that's November 11th. And the parade is canceled this year, but, or the ceremonies, I should say. But they'll still likely do stuff maybe on TV. And we always do our moment of silence, regardless, even with the kids. Um, we still do it even at home when we're off that day, just to, so they can remember too that, you know, to be grateful for what we have and that there were people who, made a lot of sacrifices for what we enjoy today. So definitely can't forget uh, to honor them. And then to buy, I'm going to get my son's birthday present. My father-in-law's birthday present. The wind is really howling. My God, I, I don't I hope you guys, like I don't check this after and it's just been howling all the way through. And then I'm pretty sure Olivia needs some snow pants. Because I know for sure James ripped his last year, so she won't have uh, those to wear. And then James has grown a foot size, so he's going to need some winter boots. And then both of the kids need some really warm ski gloves. Not like those thin mittens that they wear, but like really heavy duty ones. Ski gloves, both kids. And that's kind of what um, we need to do for now. Probably go to Costco as well. So I'm gonna just add a Costco trip. Usually go every other month and we didn't go last month. So I'm gonna put here a Costco trip. And that is that. All right, so I will zoom you guys back out. And that is my finished dashboard spread. So that's how I set up this page. And um, that's what it looks like, the final result. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, let me know what you guys use these pages for. I'd be really curious to see what you guys use them for. Um, and then that's the bottom again. And then on this side, I will fill this one out afterwards as well. Um, and that is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you are all having a great weekend. Um, thank you so much as well for all your support. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so as already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And until next time, see you later, guys. Bye.